Good morning and welcome to BBI's e-learning. Our subject for today is integrated science. Our strand is system and our substrand is ecosystem. Our topic for discussion is concept of ecosystem. Now, what is ecosystem? An ecosystem is made up of living things that is plants and animals interacting with their non-living environment. Now, the non-living environment comprises of water, soil, air, rocks, sun, atmosphere, and even the weather. Now, in terms of interaction, living things interact with their living things in so many ways. For example, animals drink water. Some animals live in the soil. Some also live under rocks. And even some live in dead trees. And guess what? We all know all animals need air to survive. Now, in an ecosystem, all living things have needs such as food, water, air, and shelter to survive. Now, if these needs are not met, they cannot survive or thrive. Now, all these organisms in an ecosystem are either fed or they feed on other organisms and also are also being fed on. Now, they do this in order to survive in the ecosystem. Now, for example, a grass is eaten by a deer. The deer is also eaten by a lion. Now, you realize that there is a change of energy. There is a transfer of energy from one living thing to the other. Now, these animals that hunt other animals for food are called predators. Whilst animals that are hunted and eaten for food are called prey. And so, in this circumstance, the lion becomes the predator, and then the deer becomes the prey. Now, in terms of shelter, organisms have places they usually live, and these places are called habitat. So, a habitat is a place or an area where organisms live to survive in an ecosystem. Now, examples of these habitats are forest ocean, grassland, desert, rivers, sea, ponds, and so on and so forth. Now, these habitats serve as shelters, as I said earlier, where these animals are protected during weather and climatic conditions. Also, in an ecosystem, every member or every organism in the ecosystem relies on each other. Or they depend on each other and so if a member of that ecosystem is removed or eliminated the ecosystem and its members may suffer which results in an imbalance now this imbalance is caused by human activities and sometimes nature now also in an ecosystem each organism relies on each other or depends on each other for survival. Now, if a member of that ecosystem is removed, the ecosystem and its members may suffer, resulting in an imbalance. Now, the imbalance is caused by human activities or even nature. Now, some of the activities or the human activities that causes imbalance in the ecosystem are one pollution deforestation volcanic eruption depletion of wildlife flood and also illegal mining known in ghana as galamsey and so on and so forth now let's recap our topic a recap of our topic for today. An ecosystem is made up of living things, that is plants and animals, interacting with their non-living environment. Animals interact with their non-living environment in so many ways. For instance, 
Animals drink water. Some animals also live in the soil. Some also live under rocks, and even some also live in dead trees. And we all know that animals need air to survive. Living things in an ecosystem have needs such as food, water, and air, and also shelter to survive. And so, if these needs are not met, they cannot survive. In an ecosystem, organisms either feed or are being fed on. Animals that hunt other animals for food are called predators, whilst an animal that is hunted and eating for food is called a prey. In terms of shelter, animals or organisms have places they usually live, and these places are called habitats. Examples of habitats are forest, ocean, grassland, desert, rivers, sea ponds, and so on and so forth. Now, if a member of an ecosystem is removed, it causes an imbalance because every member in an ecosystem relies on each other. This imbalance is caused by human activities mostly. And examples are pollution, deforestation, volcanic eruption, depletion of wildlife, flood, and illegal mining, also known as Galamsey. Now answer the following questions. Number one, what is an ecosystem? Number two, what is a habitat? Number three, mention four examples of habitats. Number four, what is the difference between a predator and a prey? Number five, what happens to the ecosystem when a member of that ecosystem is removed? Number six, mention four activities that cause imbalance in an ecosystem. Thank you and God bless you.